The intention of this video is to share what star seeds are and make it more relatable and not to be something that's so esoteric. And I believe if you allow some of these ideas to soak in, it may profoundly change your life. Welcome back to another video. My name's Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now, I know what you might be thinking. First off, you might be thinking this whole star seed thing is kind of weird. You might be thinking as well, maybe one of your friends sent you to this. Maybe it's that one weird friend in the group <laughs> that sent you this video and said, hey, watch this video. It's a little bit more re relatable than maybe the way I originally explained it to you. <laughs> but what I'm gonna do in this video is share with you why star seeds isn't so esoteric and how uh, knowing and understanding this really did change my life in a powerful way. I went through my awakening back in 2012 where I started to become more aware of who I am. What I mean by that is not even just starseed who I am, more so just as a spiritual being having a temporary human experience. You start to observe your thoughts, you start to feel differently about the way that you relate to life in general. And that causes a lot of different kind of rabbit holes you can go down. Now let me first off say I'm somebody that has definitely done the research. I've read many different books. I've uh, gone through my own inner discernment to see what resonates. Some things, a lot of things actually don't resonate when I read about this, but there's some consistencies I found through different resources that have shown that, hey, this is something to actually be looked at. Now, there's some common misconceptions when it comes to star seed. So first off, what is a star seed? Now, the old school way of looking at a star seed, or I guess the, people, the way a lot of people look at it, is a star seed is a soul that normally has incarnations in higher realities on different star systems that has chosen to come to earth for a certain purpose to maybe seed some type of information in earth. Now, I'm gonna share that in a little bit of a different way, maybe a way that's a little bit more relatable, but let's start more at the beginning. And by beginning, I just mean, let's understand reality itself. Now, when we talk about reality itself, we have that of what we could call an avatar. An avatar is our 3D physical body, the body that we're in right now. This is what we interpret our reality through. We have the five sense perceptions. We can smell, touch, taste, see. These are different things and different ways that we interpret reality. Now what happens is when we're born into our reality, we are born and we are led to believe that we are our avatar. We are this physical body. And then we start to associate and believe that this is everything that there is. That if we can't taste it, touch it, smell it, see it, then there's no validity to it. Now, the thing that happens though is we start to identify with our body and we start to limit ourselves in our own expression because we've been conditioned to only go that far, to only go as far as our ego will allow us. Now, the part, the reason I'm explaining this now is because one, once we learn how to observe our thoughts, that's where we start to observe the mind. We start to observe the way the avatar thinks. Then we don't need to identify so much with it. We learn not to do that so much. Now, what happens is this isn't just the vastness of who we are. The truth is we are spiritual beings having temporary human experiences. You can look to almost any old school mystic text about this, any religion will show you at a certain level that the idea is that we are eternal spiritual beings having a temporary human experience. We have this human experience through what we call our avatar. Now, what I'm gonna be sharing when it comes to star seeds, first off, is that you're not special because you're a star seed. Every single person on this planet is what we call multidimensional, meaning we exist here in 3D reality. And at the same point right now, we also exist in different realities because that's how vast our soul is. We simply forget it. So if your friend sent you this video, know that you don't have to be afraid that your friend is special and you're not. You are just as special. You're a star seed special snowflake <laughs> because everyone is because we're multidimensional by nature. Now here is the best way. I'm trying to figure out a way of like condensing all of this into an easy way to understand. But knowing that we are infinite spiritual beings having temporary human experiences, we have not only incarnated our energy on earth. The thing with earth that makes earth so challenging is that we forget who we are when we come here. Just like we identify with our avatar and say, oh, this is who I am. I am the avatar. Now we forget who we are when we come here because there's this realm of free will here. 
it makes the game more interesting. It then allows us to wake up in this game of life. In a way, in a metaphor, reality, 3D Earth is very much a game. It is something that we come into, we forget who we are so that we can then remember who we are. That's why a lot of star seeds are going through that awakening. When I went through my awakening in 2012, it was very profound. I started to realize so much more and it was almost like a, it's like a whole new world in a way because you realize that what you've been told growing up, the things you've been worried about and stressing about, there's so much more beyond that that it kind of makes it not as important anymore. You're still important. You're still, it's also important to still be in th this reality and to still be present here, not to escape and like be thinking of some star seed escape route or something, like you're gonna ascend back into the Pleiades or something like that. Now, it was funny, I went to, a, uh, with my, my buddy, we went to our friend Drew's house, who's, uh, he owns a real cool company and he, uh, uh, in San Diego, and he had some of his friends over and one of them, there was this uh, girl that came over, she was really cool, and she was telling me how she was at one time at a party and there was somebody that came up to her and was like, uh, it was like a networking thing, like a, a business networking thing. And she's like, oh, you know, I run a business. And then this other person, she's like, so what do you do? And this person goes, I channel the Plutonians. <laughs> She said, I channel the Plutonians. And she's like, you channel the Plutonians? Like for a living? <laughs> it was just <so> funny. <laughs> That's the thing with starseeds too, is sometimes we get so into this whole starseed thing that we start saying things that just like <laughs> completely are outside of people's realm of understanding in a way, as far as relatability goes. It's just a funny little side note there. But anyways, it, it's understanding that we forget who we are when we come here because part of the purpose of this life is to remember who we are. Now, here's the thing. I'm gonna share some information from Dolores Cannon. Dolores Cannon has written, she actually didn't really write any of them. There's like 17 to 19 books that are transcripts that she has uh, had from her, what are called QHHT sessions. QHHT stands for Quantum Healing Hypnosis Technique. What she does is she's a hypnotherapist who came across uh, a technique to get people into their subconscious so that their subconscious mind comes through and explains why some people uh, some things about people's lives. For example, someone may go in and say, oh, uh, she may ask like this person that's seen this deep level of hypnosis, like why did you incarnate at this time? What was the purpose of your relationship with your dad or your mom or these different things? And why did this happen? And the subconscious mind can give different answers for that. Well, she's done those kind of sessions with thousands of people all over the world. That's what her 19 or 17 books are. I know it's an odd number. I can't remember which one it is. And they're transcripts of that and through many different people all over the world, none of which knew each other, said a very similar thing. We came here for this time of transformation on the planet. We came here to be a part of the great awakening. And this is something that also the law of one, which is considered some of the most profound channeled text of all time. Yes, it is channeled. I know that sounds a little bit weird, but that comes from a, a physicist was actually the one that was asking questions very, uh, very, in, very smart person asking questions and very detailed, it's very dense. I actually have the books right over there. They're very, um, kind of a heavier read. There's like five, six different books. They're also transcripts, but it shows the same type of thing. Right now, earth is going through what is called the harvest. The harvest is where there's an opportunity for us to grow to a new level of consciousness. We're able to go from what's called 3D and 3D reality. This is where we forget who we are. Many times on 3D reality, there's a certain level of control. And what happens is we have the opportunity to now go to more of a 4D or 5D level of consciousness. This is where reality becomes much more dreamlike, where we raise our vibration. We are more so creating our destiny from our level of our thoughts. Now, here is the thing, and here is why we had to forget who we are. And this is the whole thing about understanding star seeds. So first off, there's different star systems. We did not just incarnate all of our energy on one planet. We wanted variety. So you have incarnations, they're called parallel incarnations, and in many different star systems at this moment right now. And what happens is every single night when you go to sleep, you're more awake to this, you're more open to this. The 3D physical avatar may think this is very weird. I totally understand that. I thought it was weird too when I first became aware of it. But what happens is when you become aware of this, it starts to open up new possibilities. You might start to see your dreams become a little bit more interesting because you start to open up in a way. You can only perceive that which you believe is possible for you. And we block it out if, we don't, if we're not open to it. Now here's the thing, and here's what Dolores Cannon also said. Dolores Cannon, through thousands of different people, and through many of them said this same thing. 
What happened was that back in the 1930s, the 1940s, when the U.S. or the world in general was playing around with nuclear bombs, what happened is there was a bomb right here, okay? This is Earth. Now, what happens is Earth, in a way, it's not, it, it, Earth, in a way, has been, and there's been a certain level of control here for a while, a certain level of a narrative. You might say, why don't I not know I'm a multidimensional being? Well, it could be because we're not necessarily taught that. And if anything, we're conditioned to believe that that is weird stuff. And that's why inside of us, we're like, this is weird, this whole starseed stuff, until we become open to it. And then we're like, whoa, it's a whole new world. But what happens is, is there's a certain level of control here. There's it, we're kept from, in a way, knowing that we're eternal spiritual beings of temporary human experiences. We are so caught up in the rat race of this whole, the financials, all these different things are set up to keep us asleep. That's just the way it's kind of worked. There, not every, not every influence on earth and uh, maybe has been positive. I don't like to go down that route of the whole negativity thing, but of understanding the control on the planet. However, it's something that's there. Now, what happened is back in the day when the 1930s and 40s, when we were messing around with nuclear bombs, what happened is we put out these nuclear bombs and that then exploded and it went out into the universe. Now what happened is that nuclear bomb and nuclear bombs in general don't just influence our reality, it also influences realities around us, different star systems. Now there's a rule with Earth, this is all from Dolores Cannon, she says through many or thousands of her different clients in that QHHT hypnosis, there's a rule on Earth. We are allowed to do what we want within our own free will to go through and to learn the different experiences. You could say in a way that Earth is a school for growth where we forget who we are so that we can remember. We're allowed to do what we want with free will as a collective consciousness. However, there's an exception there. If what we do begins to influence other star systems, that is a no-no. That is a no-no. We are not allowed to do that. We are not allowed to put out nuclear bombs that then influence other reality systems. Now, this is what would happen. This is what happened in this is what Dolores Cannon and the Law of One talks about. But a lot of it's Dolores Cannon, what I'm talking about right now. When that, there was, in a way, Earth put out a call that said, hey, I need help. Now this is going to sound even more esoteric. But Earth is also energy. It's also a connection that we all have to Earth. It's also a being. Higher, uh, I won't go too esoteric there, but it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a being. And what happened is, is Earth put out a call. I may have lost you there when I said that. I should have said that to like that esoteric. But Earth put out a call that said, I need help because I'm about to destroy myself. If there's other nuclear bombs that come off, we're literally going to destroy the planet. So what happened is there was a call that was put out. This call that was put out went all around. And guess what? There are many beings, spiritual beings, that have had lives on Earth before that may have been chilling in different realities. Then what happened is we heard this call. Many of us may have heard this call and said, huh, well, I do feel a, an immense amount of love for Earth. It's a very beautiful place. And it, Earth does need help right now. So what happened is, is we decided, we said, yes, it's, this is going to be difficult. It is hard to be in the 3D reality where you forget who you are. My guess is if you're listening to this video, you've probably been through some pretty hard things in your life that you didn't enjoy going through. However, we knew that as what we could call star seeds, we were going to come into this reality, remember who we are, because that's the only way to influence it. You see, you could say, why don't we as higher dimensional beings with all of our amazing abilities change it from the outside in? Well, remember, there's the free will here. We can't, we can't intervene with it that way. We have to let the experiment, this earth school for growth, figure it out itself. So the only way to influence our reality was to actually play according to the rules that it has. And the rules that our reality had in Earth was that you must incarnate into the system, remember who you are, and then make the change from within. In a way, infiltrate it. <laughs> but that's, that's the difference. That's what we knew we had to do. So we knew it wasn't going to be easy, but we knew there'd be so much time for for there would be so much ability and opportunity for an immense amount of growth. So when you could talk about law of one, we're going through a harvest where we are able to wake up to who we are in higher dimensional reality, where we, we literally transmute the energy from 3D going into 4D, where reality becomes much more flexible, becomes much more dreamlike, becomes much more magical. 
You see, there's something about our collective consciousness. Whatever we believe as a collective consciousness is the kind of reality that we have in mass, in, in totality. Now, as we begin to change and there's this spiritual awakening happening on the planet, it's starting to, there's ripples of it and there's a, an avalanche that's beginning to start with it. And you watching this video is a sign of it. Do you know how weird this video and maybe even still is a little bit weird right now, but as time goes on, this won't be as weird as it is right now or even five, uh, even like two years ago or a year ago when I first made my stars, a starseed video. And I'll go ahead and add a starseed playlist that you could check out now if you want to open yourself up more to these ideas. I do my best to explain it in a way that's not so esoteric and weird, but this is what a starseed is. A starseed is somebody that has come here to help other people wake up to who they are. Now, a starseed, in, in general, we are all multidimensional beings having temporary human experiences. So every single person on this planet, in a way, is a starseed. Now, what we mean by that, though, is a starseed is one of the first to wake up to help bring through the energy. When you think of it as well, we'll go a little bit further down the rabbit hole for this video, but think of it, maybe there's different star systems like the Pleiades, for example. Okay, let's just, that's the Platonians. <laughs> But let's say that we have this, uh, oh, you kind of see it. You, we, we have this um, star system over here. Now, with that incarnation that you may have in the Platonians and <laughs> the Pleiades, what happens is, is there's, a, there's a certain energy there. Now, in this life right now, what you do, maybe not even knowing it, is you bring through different, similar character traits from that version of you into this reality. So that is a way that you bring through and seed the information from the stars here. It sounds esoteric. It's really not that weird. We are all multidimensional beings who have forgotten who we are. We are here to remember who we are. We are here to make a transition from the 3D level of reality into a 4D level reality where reality becomes much more magical. The old systems of control, the old systems of control that has kept us ignorant are beginning to fall away and more people through the internet, through the technology we have, are starting to remember who they are. And that's what star seeds really are about. It's about understanding that we're all star seeds. We're all multidimensional beings who have come as avatars because we're such vast beings that we, in a way, I forgot to kind of explain this, but in a way, think of it like this. You are such a vast being that you have split yourself up, off into different realities to learn information. You may have a life on earth and then you might also have a life in the platonians on a different reality they both exist right now and you have a higher self which is what your guidance system is which is what you connect to in meditation and at a grand level we're all connected you i everyone if you go up furthest up this up this ladder so we're all one consciousness but here's the thing if we think that earth is the only place that exists, this is all that, it's all that's comfortable, but it's limiting ourselves. Do we understand that there's an infinite universe out there? Infinite. It is more vast than we can even imagine. And we are more creative. Source is more creative than just have it all in one place. But every night when you go to bed, it is my bet that you are awake to more of this information, more of this reality. You're doing things in your dream state you probably can't even imagine. But while we're here on earth, we forget this and that's why we only identify with our avatar and our senses. But in general, know that this isn't as weird as it seems. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed, it simply is. And right now you have connections to different versions of you that you may not even be aware of and it's not that important for you to know every little thing about it. The important part is are you doing your own work are you tapping into your own power? Are you remembering more of who you are? You are an infinite spiritual being. You came here to be a part of this time of transformation. And the key to this is really remembering and embodying who you really are. So if you want more information on this, let me know. Go ahead and like this video if you liked it. Comment below and let me know if you want me to do a whole series on this. And also there's gonna be a star seed playlist right here. It's gonna sound a little esoteric. This is the next step though. There's also a starseed meditation that I'll link below that will help you tap into this. And it'll open you up and help you understand a little bit more about this pretty esoteric concept, nonetheless, totally powerful. So with that being said, peace, much love, namaste.